Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Icewind Dale. All right, while we're here at the Severed Hand, I uh, remembered that uh, we do have the journal of, uh, what's his name's daughter? Uh, Laryl's daughter. So uh, we should probably talk to him, see if we can uh, give that to him. Um, it's in the uh, bag of holding. We'll see if that works, actually. Um, I think it probably will. Uh, I noticed that, um, I forgot that... Uh, Ald actually had a Morning Star of Lesser Phasing plus two, which I'd put in my uh, bag, whereas uh, um, Island We only had a uh, plus one Morning Star, so I swapped those. Uh, I was gonna, I, I did go through and sell a bunch of stuff, so I've got ninety four thousand uh, um, gold at the moment. Uh, I did, I, I figured I might as well buy the Elven Sewn Cloak gloves and uh, boots just to have them. I mean, had spare slots. They weren't that expensive. Um, so, you know, why not kind of thing. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I believe I did get all of our spells memorized. Yeah. Uh, so, I got Conjure Earth Elemental for Ellie. Uh, I decided to go for Monster Summoning 3 on Moonshadow, and I still have uh, Phantom Blade memorized um, on Island Wii, uh, but I got her fire, uh, the Conjure Fire Elemental. Um, I figured that there's still a chance that we'll be encountering Undead. Uh, Phantom Blade will be pretty good uh, against those guys. Uh, it's, let's see. Do, 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 do. Extra plus 10 slashing damage against undead creatures, so seems pretty good. Although against skeletal types, it'll only do like plus 5, so, you know. Um, Moonshadow, I did uh, memorize uh, Conjure Air Elemental and Conjure Water Elemental. Uh, if I get another slot, I'll probably uh, memorize Conjure Water Elemental. Um, I did not end up casting these spells to see what they actually summon. Eh, we'll find out as we go, I think. Um, but, uh, that's really about it. I don't think that he had anything to really worth buying, uh, down there, so, uh, let's go ahead and talk to, uh, Laryl. You have returned. I have. Uh, Laryl, this may shed some light on what truly became of your daughter. Once again. I hope you guys actually heard that, because, man, the, the music just, like, swelled up as he started talking. Uh, I don't know why it does that sometimes. Sometimes it's really, really loud in my head. Um, of course. Uh, farewell, Laryl. We gave Laryl the journal we found in Dorne's Deep. In it, Evane described the efforts she made to uh, reunify the elves and the dwarves. She also detailed the fall of Dorne's Deep that led to what truly happened in her last days. I got 56,000 experience points for that, but I believe that we can talk to him again. It is good to see you again. How goes your state of contemplation? For the first time in many centuries, I remember what it feels like to be at peace. I thank you for giving that back to me. I will remain here in the hand to ensure that any elves left here will make it to the afterlife. Perhaps then, Labellus will grant me passage to Arvindor. It is good to see you are doing well. We are on our way back to Kaldahar and could use your your assistance for the journey. And boom. Alright, so the reason why I am back here is because uh, we first want to go up Onward. here. That's that's the wrong way, Island Wee. Come along. At least you're moving a little bit faster. Of 
course. Hello, Auric. Merrick mentioned you may be able to do something with these Winter Wolf pelts. The pelts can be sewn together into a cloak with a few cantrips. With a few cantrips? What are you talking about? We can preserve some of the Winter Wolf's natural protections in the cloak. But it takes a lot of raw material and work. I'll need at least five pelts and 3,500 gold. That sounds great. Let's do it. What about Yeti pelts? Yeti pelts are not the best materials to work with, but Conlin and myself may be able to make some hide armor out of them. It's a bit tougher and stiffer than leather. I'll be able to lay some enchantments into the materials as they cure. Looks like he could actually make, uh... Huh. Alright, so... it. I guess I could do... Uh, at, at this time, I could do one or the other. That sounds great. Let's do it. I uh, lost five pelts, 3,500 gold. But, uh... We don't have... Uh, we do have the leather armor. We don't need another set of it, so, um... Uh, we'll go for the cloak. Uh, I don't know that he has any spells that I want right now. Uh, I guess some of these are probably new. Ogi looks great robe. Um, this robe was fashioned from strong fabric and dyed dark blue. The favorite color of its proud owner, the archmage Ogi Luke. A Sembian by birth, Ogi Luke was a powerful man, as strong in body as he was in mind. However, Ogi Luke wasn't content to merely be strong. He wanted to be exceptionally strong when he put on these robes. Proud men stood aside and braggarts stilled their tongues. For all of Ogi Luke's proud pride and prowess, he was unable to defeat the Red Wizard Abjurer Nesk Valtim. Nesk took the robe as, robes as a prize. They were later stolen and sold by a daring rogue. Armor class 4, constitution plus 2, strength 1899. Uh, that's actually not too bad. Um, I don't know if it's worth it. Uh, let me think about it. Uh, Mantle of Hell's Furnace. Agonizer's Scorcher. Burning Hands. Charm Fire Elemental Kin. I suppose that would have been good against all of those, uh, um... Uh... Da -da 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 -da. Uh, the Salamanders, but, uh... Uh, let's see, an extremely vivid piece of clothing, the mantle of Hell's Furnace, was woven from the beards of fiery Azure. Azure. It was worn by a high priest of Kozuth no named Ulabem for 15 years before he was killed fighting a priestess of Istitia. When the priestess attempted to destroy it, Afrit allies of Ulabem tracked her down and killed her. One of the Afridi took the cloak until it was kept the cloak until it was requested of him by a clever thief who summoned the genie out of an enchanted block of sandalwood. It is believed that the cloak retains its powers until they are used a certain number of times. Once that point is reached, the cloak is summoned back to the elemental plane of fire. Um, should probably take a look to see what my uh, current... Um, oh yeah, I was going to get the sh Shimmering Sash. Um, let's go ahead and buy it. I was going to do that. I think I ran out of money last time I was here. So, it's a belt. Um, you got a negative six armor class already. Sure. Let's increase that to negative nine. There we go. At once. Now he's quite blurry. Alright, so we've got to wait a day. It shall be done. Uh, but there's a few other things that I want to do here. Agreed. I checked these off screen to see if these if these would work, and and I verified them. So that's why I, I know about these things. Get out of my way, lady! You're gonna if if you prevent me from getting into uh, the shop, I will not be happy. Good, you did not. It shall be done. May I see what you have for sale. All right. Where is it? Stout Ward plus one. We want to buy that back. Uh, shouldn't have sold it in the first place, but, uh, you know. What can you do? Don't know that he has anything else. I 
Uh, Calabac's journal mentions Bandoth, but I tried buying it back and then going back and talking to Bandoth, and he doesn't say anything, so I'm going to leave that uh, sold to him. Uh, let's see, anything uh, to sell to him? Um... I suppose I could just sell these for now. I would get a little bit more money from someone else, but uh, that's fine. Uh, I still don't know what I can do with the uh, the shells. I imagine that I've, I can do something. Um, let's go ahead and sell those, though. Let's see. Anything else that I want to sell? Potion bags? No. Sold all gems. Um, let's see, the forge key I don't, I doubt I need, I doubt I need Terracan's key anymore. Uh, I think I might still want to keep that watchtower key, though. Kind of surprised that I can't sell the badges. I mean, I know, that, uh, obviously I haven't used them yet, and that would be bad to sell them, but eventually I will want to sell them, I think. Unless they get used up, which might be a possibility. Obviously, I don't know. Very well. Uh, I am thinking about, I believe in here is where the, uh, um, that guy who would have sent us off into the, uh, um, the expansion is, and I, I might go, uh, do that once we have these items. Because I imagine I'll get some pretty good stuff, and I think we're probably at a high enough level now. person looks a little different. I guess maybe that is a cowl. I don't know. You guys want to go in? Thank you. It shall be done. What were you saying about this mithril hammer again? What do you mean? This stoutward shield is, uh, is from Clan Battlehammer. Here, let me see that. Yes, I can feel the similarity. Even more interesting, these seem to have an affinity for each other. It's possible we may be able to combine them. What would that involve? It's fairly tricky, and Mithril doesn't always react well after it's been imbued. I think I could probably add this as a standard for the shield. I'm not sure what exactly that would do for Stout Stoutward's abilities. And it's a solid day of work. How about 4,500 gold? Sure, that sounds like a bargain. Come back in a day and your new shield will be ready. I'd like to purchase some weapons. Uh, do you have anything new? I wish these... I wish the magic weapons would glow. So that I could see exactly what uh, is magic and what isn't. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything that I was thinking about. Uh, one of these might have been... Oh, the lore plus 20 was pretty good. I was thinking about that for the... Uh, for Moonshadow. Blade of Bale, 2d4 plus 3 is pretty good, but uh, it has nothing special. So I think I'd probably want to wait until I get something that's kind of special before I uh, get rid of that. That's a two-handed sword. It is plus 3. Staff of Iran. All right, well, there is a uh, plus three quarter staff here, so I could just blow the charges. So if I blow the charges on uh, the staff that Ellie currently has, at least I know that I can come back here and get something decent. Um, I don't know if that's better than the other, than the crossbow that I currently have. That's a dagger, so I don't care about that. Uh, this is a plus three uh, flail. Big Zai is a short sword, don't care. That's about it, okay. Unless he somehow got something new in. Uh, doesn't look like it. Alright, what can I sell? Well, I can 
can sell all these uh, Yeti pelts. Not getting a whole lot for them anymore. Sell all these winter wolf pelts. Get a lot for that. Sell the broken armor. I'll keep the Morning Star plus one and sell that at someone who's a bit has a bit better uh, prices. I think that's going to be about it. Probably get rid of the studded leather armor plus two at this point. Okay. Alright, so we uh, we need to come back in a day. Um, trying to think what would be best. Yeah, I guess we'll go, we'll just go ahead and uh, Agreed. leave. We'll just travel somewhere and then uh, come back. I guess we'll go uh, here. One day, 16 hours. Back to Kaldahar. It shall be done. And we'll head back up to the, uh, the blacksmith shop. So I am thinking that uh, going to the uh, expansion might be a good idea after this. So I was just checking on something. Come on. Thank you. You done? Welcome back. I have successfully merged the symbol with the with Stout Ward. Combining them was fairly straightforward, like they were meant for each other. Here's Stout Ward back. I think you'll find it's a lot stronger now. Alright. We'll take a look at that after we uh Of course. Head over here. I suppose I can look at it now. All right. Uh, combined with the icon of Clan Battlehammer, the shield's abilities have been further enhanced. So armor class plus two, strength plus one, maximum hit points plus ten, no protection against missile attacks. Uh, it, it's I I don't know. I mean, I suppose. Let's see. What is this? Plus two, plus an extra plus five versus missile weapons. That's really good. I suppose I could just uh, swap them. Uh, that would bump her strength up. Make her even stronger than Ald. Yes. Guys, you are really horrible at, at figuring out where you need to go. Come along. I'll definitely uh, save it before I go on to the uh, uh, expansion, I think. And, uh, you know, just in case it is more difficult than I expected. But you can go right into it uh, from the menu, and I think we're around the level that the characters were, so. Onward. At once. Welcome back. I have your cloak ready. Though I had forgotten how much I hate working with fur. I hope you enjoy it, for I will not be making another. Alright. Never mind. Alright, so let's take a look. Uh, this beautiful fur cloak is made from the pelts of winter wolves. A cloak was sewn by the local seamstress in Kaldahar, and it retains some of the natural resistances inherent to the wolves thanks to Oryx enchantments. Uh, armor class plus one versus crushing attacks, cold resistance plus 10%, immunity to winter wolf uh, breath attack. Uh, it's not bad. Go with that. And you don't have a cloak, so there we go. So, it is a cloak. Um, I don't know if you, there's a way to actually see... Well, let's see. 
resistances. Cold, 15. Fire, 15. Acid, 10. Magical, cold, 10. Slashing, 20. Crushing, 15. Piercing, 20. Missile, 5. Oh, okay. Uh, do you have any... Just cold, 10. Cold, 10. Magic, 15. Missile, 15. Hmm. Fire minus three. Magic fire minus three. I don't remember that. Cold 15. Magic cold 15. No resistances. Fire 30. Cold 30. And magic 5. What do you have that's uh, doing that? Oh, that's right, this. Um, cold resistance plus 15, fire resistance p minus 3. Okay. Uh, he does not have much in the way of items uh, at all. No, you know, so he, he's got a lot of available stuff. At least we know where we'll start uh, moving some things. All right. Well, I suppose what we can do is... Uh, Basically, just swap stuff around um, depending on what we're facing. Uh, so let's see. Uh, her damage is 7 to 12. 12 to 17. That's pretty good. There we go. <laughs> and now her carrying capacity is 500 pounds. She doesn't need to carry around the bag of holding anymore. But uh, we will anyway. So, um, yeah, it's pretty good. A uh, pretty good boost to damage. Um, that would probably only uh, boost his up by one, I think. Yeah, because he is eighteen zero zero. I guess we can check. Yeah, twelve to eighteen, thirteen to nineteen. So yeah, we'll go with with her, and if we encounter anything that uh, um, uh, would be using missiles on us, then we can forego the extra damage and uh, swap to the large shield plus one, plus four versus missiles. I still have another one in the uh, bag of holding in case, um, you know, again, I want to move her into close combat or uh, deal with uh, ranged uh, characters, so... Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead Onward. and leave. Onward. And is there anything else to do here be before we end the episode? Or, yeah, it might be a little bit uh, early. I don't think there's really anything else to do. Still never figured out what to do with the, uh, um, uh, the innkeeper. And we haven't encountered Pokolin yet, so we can't talk to the, uh, priest in there. See if that does anything. Alright, so I think what we'll do is end the episode a little bit early. We'll head in, uh, to this house and, uh, see if we can go to the expansion. Um... I'm kind of assuming that there will be some pretty good items in um, in there to get. And uh, when we come back, you know, we'll see how that is. If I get started on it and it looks like it's uh, um, we're not powerful enough, then I'll probably just cancel that recording and go back to the save game. Um, like if I immediately get encounter things that just start slaughtering us or something like that. Because um, it's possible that I might need more... Uh, levels or something like that. Uh, oh, and uh, should probably get uh, some hit points back for uh, Elmandretta. Alright, so when we return, we'll see about the... Uh, um, should probably do that. Um, see about the expansion. I think it's Heart of Winter. I don't remember. See you next time, everyone.